hello everyone this is isha here from isha's crafty site and today i'm gonna alter this uh, chest i got this from michael's and i'm gonna alter this with you all so this is a really big um, chest or you can call a treasure box and i mean it's quite a big so i'm gonna um, alter this and this is gonna be a very mixed media type of project and we'll do it together okay so stay tuned As you can see I have applied the texture paste I'm just gonna um, use my fingers to make some more texture on this like so I just want it to be raised up so I'm just gonna I'm just you know what I just want this rough type of texture so what I'm gonna do is I'll just put my finger like so and quickly take it up okay this way this way I'll just finish up whole box and I'll be back okay hi all so I've completed uh, all the sides of the box and uh, I'll just uh, show you quickly how it looks after it is all completed so uh, I did the top with you all and then I completed all the sides and you can see after drying it gives a very nice texture i just love this type of texture you know it's very rough and uh, so what i'm thinking is to uh, i'm gonna draw some uh, like figures with a pencil i just wanted to make some swirls so i'll just freehand them roughly done with drawing of all the swirls on the top side okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this um, twine the jute twine and I'm gonna stick on the shapes I have drawn like so with the hot glue okay
so um, I have just added the twine to all the swirls and this is how it looks okay so what I'm uh, one upon everything with Mod Podge mat okay so um, I'll just cover it up first guys so um, I had left this box to dry uh, till the Mod Podge uh, mat I had applied is all dried up I think it took around um, three four hours and it's nice now so now we can run upon with the other things what we want to do upon this so uh, once it is dried up um, what you're gonna do is I'm mm -hmm. gonna take black acrylic paint and I'm gonna paint this whole box all around okay so that's gonna give me a basic layer of color on the whole box okay and uh, as uh, this you can see is very very dimensional and it has all small ups and downs it's gonna take a lot of color of yours Mommy. and uh, Mommy. yeah I have my daughter here Mommy. yes Shravya <laughs> So what I was saying is, uh, they, there will be a lot of dimensional areas, smaller areas and segments where the color won't go because uh, of its dimensionality. So what we're going to do is, we're going to try hard and, you know, go around like in a circular movement to cover the whole box until every single part is colored, okay? It is going to take me some time to color this up. And it's going to take a lot of bit of color too. So what I'm thinking is, I'll just color this up, whole black, and then I'll return back. Okay? Hey guys, so I'm back and uh, as you can see the black paint is dried and I just had painted all the sides of the box also the back everything has been covered like so um, and uh, as I wanted to say one thing that as we're doing uh, black color as the base you have to make sure that the color dries up properly because we're gonna do a layer of the other colors on this so if you don't let this dry the colors which you're gonna put on this are not gonna you know show up they're gonna just mix up with black because it's a really dark color and now what i'm gonna do is my plan was to color this up uh, when she's napping in the afternoon so now she's fine and uh, we'll start with the coloring so as I said before that uh, we're gonna color I mean layer the peacock feather colors on it and also I wanted to um, tell you all that I, I, I had a vision to use all the pearl finish colors or you can say the metallic colors so the colors we're gonna use I'll just uh, I'm squeezing in a plate and I'll just um, show you all what are the different colors we're gonna use the colors are ready guys so I have a red metallic color 
uh, violet uh, acrylic paint this blue is again a uh, metallic paint this light blue is a metallic paint and this one is not green is not a metallic paint so we can start coloring with the lightest color we have here and that's this one blue and I would suggest that we should uh, if you want to do such type of coloring then make sure you do one color at a time I'm just gonna randomly color So the blue color is dried up and now I'm gonna go over with the green color which is non-metallic color so I have waited uh, for a couple of hours um, around the two hours or so to let all the colors dry up and look at this I am so loving it it is so pretty the way I had imagined you know it's perfect and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use gold rub and buff all over the box and Usually I don't do like such shiny, you know, shimmery <laughs> projects, but this was a um, special project. I wanted uh, to give it a very royal uh, touch, you know, so I decided to go with all the metallic colors. So as you all can see, I am just uh, rubbing around. Hi guys, so I'm back with the all rub and buff done all over the box. And you can see how it looks. It's superb. I mean it's amazingly amazing <laughs> i have uh, done it all around and i'll just give you a look of the box all around okay so there it is so uh, what I did was I painted all the hardware over here on the box with gold. I mean, I wanted them to look very gold, you know. I mean, 
I wanted to show up uh, that the hardware was made from gold. <laughs> so what I did was I ran upon uh, all the hardware pieces. Actually, they were fantastic. You know, also painted the inside of the box. See, I went upon with all the paints, roughly whatever I have used, and I have painted it beautifully peacock colored. So that's, mommy, mommy. that's that's it about the coloring. Mommy. Now, mommy, mommy. Um yes, sugar. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> My daughter is here and uh, she's gonna join us with the next process. What I'm gonna do with you all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply uh, some bling all over the box. So I have chosen uh, these colors. guys so i have completed adding all the bling to the box wherever i want it so um i'll show you how it looks this is where i wanted you know where the swirls ended i had planned that i'll put the uh, stones there so i have added all the bling stones all over here okay and also to the centers of the flowers and over here at the back and to the sides okay so that's all done and then what I did was I added a metal piece uh, metal sentiment memories and I layered it with the purple and a blue card stock and I just fussy cutted it all around in a random shape as I wanted it to be um, big and uh, have named the box to be memories actually you know what i'm gonna uh, give this box to my uh, brother in his wedding um i'm gonna add a book into it uh, and i had a plan that uh, um you know I, i'll just tell them to write down whatever uh, good things with the date had happened since the day they got married so that's like the memories of their marriage life they're gonna put inside this so i'm planning to make the uh, book for it but uh, it's like it would be just like a diary sort of book and i'm just gonna decorate the front of it or the cover of it so it would be just matching to the box so i'm gonna put that inside this box okay so i am all done and it's the inside of the box yeah, mommy. Yeah, mommy. and the outside yeah, I'll... so guys uh that's it for today and hope you like the box and uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna post the still picture or uh, pictures of this box after this so be sure to check them out because at times the video doesn't do the justice as much as the photographs does so you'll have um, a nice clean look uh, to how does the box look okay then uh, that's it for today see you all guys later bye for now and have a lovely crafty week ahead bye <laughs>